everyone, this is Tracy from The Venue Stamps and thank you for joining me for another demo. Today we are using the 4 inch round gel press and we're going to use our base colour which is the graphite from our elements range. So inking up, I'm just going to transfer that ink straight onto the gel press. And then using our fan brush, I'm going to pick up a little of the lime green. This is really watered down. So if you find your colours too dark and strong, just add a little bit more water. Brushos go such a long way. Okay, so I'm using a little bit of the cobalt. Again, just a little. Okay, so taking uh, our cream multiferrous card this time, I'm going to bob that over the top, give that a smooth over. And let's see what we've got. I think that looks great on the cream card. It looks actually quite vintage. And then I'm going to ink up our lovely mermaid. So I've got the black here, this is the Nocturne, so she's another big stamp, so just take your time, make sure that you've covered that whole area. And then we're going to just pop her down round about there and give her a good press. I'm going to use a stencil now over the top one down. And then taking a stencil brush, I think we'll go with the warm breeze, maybe a combination of a couple of colours. So just hold that down in place. Now of course you can tape it down if you wish. So I'm just going to work my way around. Let's see what it looks like. There we go. And again, I'm going to use the Twilight just to deepen the edges of the card. Anything that's darker around the edge always pulls your eye into the centre. Okay, so I'm using now a Secura White uh, Jelly Roll pen just to bring out some of those strands in her hair. So you're just following the lines. And 
Now the Secura, I mean this is great for really fine detail. The nib on this is super fine and it's perfect for doing things like this. Okay, you can see now how that's really pulled those strands of hair out. Let's just put a little in her wing here. Let's now put a little bit of glitter onto our mermaid. I think we need to put the glitter onto all over those lovely scales. So I'm using the glue pen again and I'm just dotting and now let's pick our lovely glitter. So we've got here mermaid blue, well that's pretty perfect isn't it? Um, so I'm going to definitely use this one which has got a really nice fine deep blue and then the next blue is like a quite a pale blue and then we've got the coarser glitter being a, like an emerald green so it's quite a combination of colour there and you can see that now how fab that looks And you can see how the, the coarser glitter is stuck as well, giving a fabulous effect. Okay guys, well thanks so much for joining me today for another demonstration. You take care and we'll see you real soon. Bye for now.